Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in, I hope you're all doing good. I'm nervous, actually nervous. I've had loads of tattoos, I've done videos about it before, I did one about getting my back piece done. But I'm getting my ribs done today, and ribs, for anyone that doesn't know about tattoos, is meant to be one of the most painful parts you can get done, and I'm going to get, like, full, like, full everything, like, from the top to the bottom done, so it's going to really hurt. So it's a very sensitive part, and it's going to really hurt, so I need to get everything done this morning. It's currently 7 o'clock in the morning, I'm getting tattooed at 10 o'clock, so I have got three hours to film this vlog. Well, have a chat to you guys, go and do some turbo in downstairs, get to the gym, and then go and get tattooed. I did want to talk to you about one thing really quickly before we jump on the turbo. So I have had this frame here. You can see this Trifox. For ages. And Francis K built up a bike with a sensor group set. It's a group set from AliExpress. And I was looking at the same group set for this. Because I think this frame comes in at about £400 or $400. So it's a pretty cheap frame set. And I was thinking about building a real budget build. So do I go full Chinese budget with this and chuck on a sensor group set? Or do I put like a 105 on it and do a more affordable kind of mainstream group set on it? Don't know, what do you reckon? Cheap Chinese group set or um, Shimano? What do you think? Let me know down below. Anyway, enough of this. I'm running out of time and we have to go jump on a turbo. So let's quickly go downstairs. So I did actually update my Zip set up, I'm quite excited. What am I pointing the remote at you. And it's turned into <laughs> going mad. I've upgraded to Apple TV for Zwift. So it just means I don't have to set up a laptop, I don't have like extra stuff, and it's just not really annoying. You just literally switch it on. But I'm gonna be honest, this touchpad thing, it's rubbish for Zwift. It is, it's awful. So I've got the quadlock stem mount, so I can just chuck my phone on it, and that means I can use like the companion app. But if I didn't have that, honestly, it'd be a nightmare. There's no way you're using any power-ups using this stupid little thing, because you're meant to slide your finger, and it just gets really sweaty, and it doesn't work. So awesome for Zwift, really easy, like it takes two seconds to set up, but if you want to use power-ups and do all that stuff, not great. So yeah, Zwift, Zwift. Another random thing, I have to take my batteries out of my bike, because my ETAP drains if I leave it on the turbo. So after every ride, I have to take my batteries out. Otherwise, I turn up in the morning to do a turbo workout, batteries aren't charged, can't change gear, bit of a pain. So yeah, I've got to put my battery back in and then we're ready to go. So it pairs to everything. Once you've paired it once, it's really easy. It's literally just turn it on and you're ready to turbo. So, bosh, proper rate it. Anyway, let's get turbo in. It's amazing how, how sweaty you get in a very short amount of time on Zwift. I only had time for about 30 minutes because, well, I'm running out of time and I had to spend ages like setting up the camera to film stuff to make this look all nice for you guys. So like, I've sacrificed my own fitness for you guys, so I hope you appreciate that. Right, coffee, shower, gym, let's go. Workout's done, I've done a bit of cleaning as well. Don't know why I ended up cleaning. Like, obviously when you're short on time, you need to procrastinate and decide you're gonna do the washing up and clean the kitchen. So the kitchen is clean, which is completely useless for this vlog, but um, <laughs> but I did do my workout. Now I'm gonna go to the gym. I think I can actually get a full hour in. So the plan is to do a little bit of legs and some core and abs, and then head to get tattooed, which I'm actually massively nervous about. As you can tell, I've been tattooed a fair bit, but like ribs, ribs are intimidating. They're really intimidating. And I've made the stupid decision of taking you guys along. Part of me wanted to just be like, okay, I'm just not gonna film getting tattooed. But you know, it'll be a giggle, right? Watching me in masses of pain. My tattoo basically touches my ribs already, and that really hurt. So yeah, nerves. Anyway, I'm not gonna waffle because we are short on time. Let's go to the gym and then get tattooed. Right, geek.
idea this is going to help, but apparently Lucas Aiden and Swedes help, so let's go see if it helps with the pain. So this is why I did all my training before getting tattooed. So I did the gym workout and I did some turbo in. Because basically like, you end up with a massive, essentially a wound. So like, I don't know if you can see, I need to, I need to clean it properly. But um, it's my entire ribs, you know? I'll give it a clean and I'll show you guys properly in a second. But like, because it's an open wound, your body is like so fatigued. So it's literally, I mean, it's not impossible to do any training, but like, I mean, imagine having a cut that big and then having to do efforts and a gym workout, etc., etc. It really wouldn't be that pleasant. That also hurt a lot more than I thought it would. I mean, I knew it was going to hurt, but wow, that really hurt. Right, I'm going to give it a wash and I'll give you guys a quick, a quick look at it. Yeah, so give me a second. I'll be back. It's a self-made. It's not finished. It's going to like be like cloudy out and it's going to join with that one there. So there's a lot of, a lot more. We need to go in and do a bit more, but um, but you get the idea. Basically, there's a big load of writing down my ribs and it really hurt and it's, yeah, not looking forward to the next session, but honestly, I've had the worst bit done, so now anything from there will be, well, slightly more pleasant. Pleasant, I mean, I use that word lightly. And then I get to start on the other side, so like, you know, joy. Um, <laughs> happy, happy with it so far. And um, yeah, for anyone that's wondering if you, if it hurts getting your ribs tattooed, it really does absolutely kills and you know what the shading wasn't too bad there's actually a lot more shading to go in ouchie ouchie hope you guys enjoyed this i'm so stoked that i did my gym workout and my ride before going and getting tattooed because right now i'm just gonna pass out for a few hours and let my body recover remember to like comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys very soon bye